What's going on guys? My name is Mojo King and today we are going to be doing a FIFA 17 preview video. We've got the ratings, at least uh, the a good part of the top 50. I also at the end have a couple other players that are in the top 20, maybe even in the top 10, that weren't included in the initial list but they were added in a video that FIFA released on Twitter. Also, a highly anticipated card entering FIFA 17 this year for the first time in FIFA. He plays for Manchester United, if that's not a hint. And I'm absolutely excited about it, not just because I'm a Manchester United fan, but because... Okay, it's because I'm a Manchester United fan, whatever. Okay guys, since we're covering pretty much 21 through 50, I'd love to know what you guys think of the top five players in FIFA. What are their ratings? What are your ranking in order? Because I believe the top three is definitely gonna be Ronaldo, then Messi, Suarez, Neymar and Neuer. I, that's how I see it. Uh, it. I could be wrong. I already know Neuer rating and I, I don't know Neymar's, but I kind of think they're going to be the same thing. You'll find out what Neuer's is at the end of this video and then you're going to know what I think Neymar's is. But let me know in the comments, guys, what you think the top five FIFA players in FIFA 17 are going to be and what are their ratings. So guys, before we jump into the video, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. Let's look at some ratings. Like in last year's FIFA, they start to release them in increments. You know, you get 50 through 41, 40 through 31, 30 through 21, you know, the top 20, the top 10, and then you get the final three, which we probably know who those final three are. Don't act like you don't know. We're going to start with number 50, and that is Blaise Matuidi. Now, Blaise Matuidi has a 79 uh, pace. He's got 78 passing, 76 dribbling, 83 defense, and 84 physical. His two really stand out, um, you know, attributes on this 86 rated card. High, high work rate once again. Hopefully high, high work rates are just as good as they were last year. Coming up next, we've got a left back, 86 rated, Marcelo. He's got 84 dribbling and 82 defending. Two very high stats on this great looking card. Next up, we've got Pierre Emerick. Pierre Emerick Obama Yang, 86 rated. He gets a nice boost on his overall rating. 96 pace, uh, 84 shooting, and 80 dribbling makes this card absolutely frightening. Next up, we've got a very disappointing position change, and that's Dimitri Payet. He went from cam to left mid. He's got 77 pace. 78 shooting, 87 passing, and 87 dribbling, and 70 physical. Now these Stats look like they'd be perfect for a cam. Why they moved him to left mid? Well, he plays left mid a lot for West Ham. But, ah, oh, man, it's just so frustrating to see a card that could just dominate as a cam. Next up at 46, we have Aryan Robben, who has dropped. Uh, really one of the first cards I've seen that has a lowered rating this significant from a 90 to an 87. His card still looks pretty good. 90 dribbling, 86 pace. Um... I think this is what happens when you get old, you know, your card goes down. Next up, we've got Hamas Rodriguez, another great looking card, 87 rated, 74, or I'm sorry, 76 pace, 85 shooting, 85 passing, 85 dribbling. This is going to be a, a really good card once again. Next up, we've got David Silva, uh, great looking card. Besides his pace, 68 pace, and maybe pace isn't going to be a big thing. I mean, this this card looks really good besides his pace. Great passing, great dribbling, 87 rated. We will see how much pace really makes a difference this year. Next up, we've got Mr. Karim Benzema, 87 rated. Uh, looks like his pace took a little bit of a hit. Uh, he still has decent physicality, great dribbling, great shooting. This card will most likely be just as good as he was last year. Next up at 42, we've got Arturo Vidal. Great looking card, 87 rated. He went up one point on his overall rating. 77 pace, 79 dribbling. Everything else is above 80. He is likely to get a club 80 card. 84 defense and 84 physical looks awesome in that high, high work rates, which I loved in FIFA 16. Hopefully will be just as good, like I said. Busquets is at 41. Uh, 42 pace, I think he has gotten slower. Wow. 83 defense though, 81 physical, still looks like a pretty decent seat holding CDM, if that's, uh, your kind of thing. Next up at number 40, we've got Samir Handonovic, 87 rated goalkeeper. Nice to see a high rated goalkeeper 
Uh, great looking stats too. 89 handling. Uh, everything else is above 86, of course, except his speed and, and kicking. But all of his um, goalkeeping stats are above 86. Next up, we've got the Bayern Munich transfer. That is Mats Hummels. 87 rated, 88 defense. Still 77 physical. I'm a little unsure about. He still has that high medium work rate, which I didn't like. Maybe that's not a big issue in FIFA 17. We will have to see. Thomas Muller comes in at number 38. And this card just doesn't impress me. I don't know if it's just me, but nothing on this card really says, wow, I can't wait to use that card. Of course, he's always been a great shooter. He's had, you know, reasonable abilities all around. But this card just doesn't impress me. Next up at 37, we've got Anhal Di Maria at a right wing card. Great looking card like he had last year. I think he came into the game last year as a cam. Uh, this year he is a right wing to start the game. Good looking stats. Uh, with the 87 pace and 87 dribbling, this is going to be a great card, even though you can't pair him up the next to Zlatan again. So that's 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 kind of disappointing. Next up at 36, we've got Alexis Sanchez with an 87 rated left wing card. 86 pace, 88 dribbling, 82 shot, 75 physical. This is going to be an awesome card. I think I could already tell this is going to be one of my favorite left wings in the game, as he was in FIFA 16. Next up at 35, we've got Ivan Rakitic, who is just a workhorse. You know, the guy has great um, passing. He's got great shooting. He's not the fastest, but if you're a tiki-taka kind of player, Rakitic is your guy. At 34, we've got Jan Oblak. He absolutely deserves this 87 rated card. 90 handling and 87 positioning. Great looking card. Can't wait to see how this guy plays in game. Next up, we've got Leonardo Bonucci. Bonucci's got an 87 rated card. Big boost for him. I believe he was an 81 rated card last year. Uh, maybe maybe he was a little bit higher, but this is a great looking card. 87 defending and 81 physicality. Coming in at 32, we've got David Alaba. 86 pace, 83 dribbling, 83 defending. Great looking card, 87 rated. So far, this is the highest rated uh, wing back I've seen in this um in, in fifa 17 next up at 31 we've got hugo Lori coming at with an 88 rated card 90 reflexes 87 diving this card was absolutely amazing last year number 30 is eden hazard i thought this card was going to get a bit of a downgrade he didn't he stayed about the same card looks relatively similar 90 pace 91 dribbling next up at 29 we've got giorgio chiellini 74 pace, 90 defense, 85 physical, still one of the most solid defensemen in the game. Coming up number 28, we've got Pita Cech. Great looking card, 88 rated, 90 handling, 85 positioning and 85 reflexes. This card, he was probably my favorite goalkeeper to start last year, and he might be my favorite goalkeeper to start this year. Coming up at 27, we've got Tony Cruz with another slow card. Jeez, 45 pace. That is slow. Next up at uh, 26, we've got Gigi Buffon with a, another spectacular card. The guy's getting older, but his cards are getting better. 87 diving, 88 handling, 90 positioning. At 25, we've got Marco Royce, 88 rated card. He got a little bit of an increase. He, of course, is the cover boy. Great looking card. I guarantee this card is going to be one of the best cards in the game next year. Next up, we've got Iniesta at 24. Great passing, great dribbling. The card hasn't really changed. I think he went down one point. Still a great card. Diego Godin comes in at 23. Got a, quite an increase in his stats and in his overall rating. Great looking defense. And uh, well, I'm going to be really interested to see how this card plays in game. Coming up, we've got Lum back in the defensive line at right back, although he has lost his pace and his physicality. Holy shit. But he's got great defending, great dribbling. We'll have to see how this goes. And then finally, at number 21, we've got Kevin De Bruyne as a right mid. Now, please, FIFA 17, be a game where you could use slow wings, because if not, this card is wasted as a right mid. And finally, we see a few players that are going to be in the top 10. That's Boatang's 90 rated card and Neuer's 92 rated goalkeeper card. Great looking cards. Next up, we have two cards. I don't care about Martial. It's all about Marcus Rashford. 
we finally see he'll be a 76 rated gold card 90 pace 79 dribbling i cannot wait to use that card so guys thank you so much for watching uh make sure you guys stay tuned i'll be probably doing one more uh fifa 16 video just to finalize everything but stay tuned for more guys and as always thanks for freaking watching also guys i want to thank you guys for your support and all of my videos from FIFA 16 and jumping into FIFA 17. I hope you guys stick around because it's going to get emotional. Okay?